Wing Commander David Hall and I'm the consultant for the Royal Air Force's critical care air support team deployed here in uh, response to the humanitarian disaster in Turkey. The team consists of a Royal Air Force doctor, some critical care nurses, a medic and technical support and between us we can provide care for two critically ill or injured patients in the air. On board we also fly with additional Royal Air Force flight nurses and flight medics which mean that we can also take up to 15 stretcher patients who aren't critically ill as well as 10 seated patients. I'm Flight Lieutenant Greg Walters, um, I'm an ITU nurse as part of the critical care air support team. A couple of challenges that we face is mainly sort of environmental factors, so there's a lot of noise in an aircraft, a lot of vibrations, so communication becomes really key. Uh, luckily we do have some devices that can help us with that, but even then it's still very difficult. You're not, normally in a hospital you'll be able to hear alarms going off. Here on the back of a plane or up at 30, 35,000 feet, you, you, you just can't hear those kind of alarms going off. So, being really focused in on your patient and what's your surroundings and your team around you and that's where the teamwork really really comes into it. We basically have all the kit here to look after two of the most unwell uh, patients and we are completely self-sufficient from the airframe so if needs be we can change to a different aircraft or rotary asset um, and take those patients to where they need to be and deliver a gold standard of uh, care. Two stretchers with flight harnesses, uh, vac mattresses which will be wrapped around the patient and then suctioned the air out to make them they become very rigid, very safe so the patient's completely secure and sort of keeps quite a lot of warmth there as well. We'll also protect them if they've got any kind of spinal injuries. I'm Corporal Matthew Jerks um, and my job role at the moment is uh, TAC Aeromed Nurse. Um, so what that involves is caring for patients in flight um, from when we pick them up um, to when we can discharge them at the other end. So we have pieces of equipment such as our core pulse. This lets us monitor people in flight, make sure they're fit and well and keep them nice and stable. In here we keep everything from pumps to administer IV fluids and medications as well as drugs. We pack some paediatric drugs um, just in case we do encounter any children. Per personally for me this is my first time doing this in an operational setting. Uh, I have a little bit of experience of doing aeromedical moves before back to the UK. So everyone who works on the critical care air support team is trained in intensive care medicine and works clinically in uh, hospital intensive care settings. We've all had experience doing intensive care during COVID and that level of experience allows us to deliver critical care in the air where it counts.